The case against Cody Roberts. Remember, they needed additional evidence. Well, we've talked about other videos circulating out there, but we now know the evidence they're reportedly looking for. And sadly, the odds are slim to none that they're going to get it. Here's why. The sheriff and the county attorney reportedly want the person who took the video at the GRB, or the Green River Bar, the GRB is how the locals call it, to meet them in person and question them. So they want the person who took the video to meet them in person and question them. Then they would supposedly have a case. But as of right now, really, it's a standstill, and the case apparently will stay that way until this person steps forward. But many people have said, wait, you might be one of them. What about all the evidence they already have? Isn't that enough? Nope. And there's a very high chance this person will not come forward. And if they don't, at this point, Roberts will get away with this. Just a $250 citation. That's it if the person doesn't come forward because they're scared. Now, since I started investigating this case a few weeks ago, just after Roberts tortured and shot dead the wolf pup, several people have reached out to me. And I've reached out to others in this case, and I'm not talking law enforcement or the county attorney or the sheriff or fish and game. I'm talking about some native Wyomingites and others who live in Daniel and, of course, Pinedale, 10 miles away. I've been told the person won't come forward again, as I said earlier, because of fear. Why? Well, Cody Roberts reportedly told the person and others that that video shouldn't see the light of day. After all, Cody Roberts and several of his friends, including his best friend, there they are back in 2015. I believe that's when the best friend got married. That friend also happens to own a trucking company as well. The Roberts family and others, like his best friend, are reportedly part of what they call the protected class in that area. Meaning they could essentially do whatever they want and get away with it. And as our psychologist said the other day, and others have told me who live there, this was not a one-off. It's not the first time they say that Roberts has done this. It's just the first time he's gotten caught. After all, he's protected, meaning he and those certain people have what you might call a stronghold over the people there. And with so few people living there, everyone essentially knows everybody else. Again, I say, do you think that person is going to come forward? Sadly, for Thea the wolf pup, no. Now, meantime, I haven't been able to find any documentation that supports any other Cody Roberts incidents. But then again, state officials, remember this, they cited a 12-year-old law that justifies their secrecy of a captured wolf. But apparently, for some reason, the law doesn't apply in this case. Now, if it weren't for the person who leaked the videos and words from an eyewitness that we heard, that we saw in the Cowboy Daily Gazette, then that's what would have happened swept under the rug. So it's been a little more than a month now. What has happened? Officially, Cody Roberts paid a $250 citation. We've learned he works for the state. About $130,000 for four years of work. Four incidents since he tortured and killed the other pup. He knows everybody. He's part of the protected class. Who has spoken out? Let's see. The state senator from Laramie, who wrote emails that had nothing to do with this. We know what Laramie is associated with. The state speaker of the house has known Roberts for years. Of Actually, he's from Pinedale. Just a short drive over, remember? And Summers went out and publicly said he's criticized Roberts' actions as wrong, inhumane, dumb, and bad judgment. But having said that, uh, he also says Roberts is a decent guy. Decent. That, he's known him his whole life. So the question, is Summers part of that protected class as well? Is the sheriff part of that class? Not thinking the uh, county attorney. As for Governor Mark Gordon, whew, he took the ax, formerly Twitter, back on April 8th. What's today? And that's once the case became public. He said he was outraged, urging people not to see the individual as an example of the people who live in Wyoming. Didn't even mention Cody Roberts' name. We haven't heard from the governor since. He slams Cody Roberts, but then he apparently does and about face, nothing, and goes on life as usual. Bottom line, $250 citation, but it doesn't have to be that way. In order for this not to go away, you have to keep the story alive. Keep signing the petitions. Do what you can to make Cody Roberts pay the criminal price for his actions. This way, Thea the wolf pup cannot 
and will not die in vain.